Ah, yeah, it's good to be back. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Fury's Modded Terraria. Okay, so the hurricane has come and gone, and now it is time, once again, to completely destroy this game with awesomeness. Or try to. Anyway, um, okay, so why am I not able to craft this? Oh, wait, I think I know why. I think I know I need this. So before we really get started with this episode here, um, I want to make something. I did not even know that this was in the game yet, or in this mod. I didn't know that it was updated and they added this, or she added this. Uh, yeah, so at an ancient manipulator. Okay, let's just go down here. This functions as an ancient manipulator. Yes. Portable remote storage access. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. Let's make it. And uh, can I wait? Right click storage heart to store location. Uh, okay, I gotta go all the way over here first. Okay. Let us go in here. This is gonna be huge, guys. This is gonna be very huge. This is my storage heart, right? I think. Uh, wait, that's storage access. Where's my storage heart? Oh, no. <laughs> that's storage access. Oh, no. Wait, that is my storage heart. Hang on. We gotta select this and then right click this. Okay, now. Oh, dude. So wherever I am, you're gonna come with me. All of my items. Yes, that is fantastic. So now I have access to everything uh, as soon as I put everything in there. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And then after that, I'll come back and I'll show you the changes I made. But speaking of changes, the Sacred Tools mod updated and I'm extremely excited about it because guys, the Challenger has been added. Sacred Tools, we're gonna fight that this episode, hopefully. Uh, but first, let me go and dump all my items into the storage facility and then I'll meet you guys back here. All right, guys, so I'm completely finished with this entire process, finally. It uh, took quite a long time. I spent uh, several hours adding some new additions to the base. Uh, nothing major except for right here. This is our new crafting area, and I wanted to add windows here to kind of brighten it up a bit. I'm probably going to open up some more. I'm not sure exactly. I want to add more lighting in here, too, over time. And I did a little bit more painting on our uh, little Mushroom Kingdom mural sort of thing down here. And I changed the battlements and got rid of those areas. Over here, I need to decorate this. I don't know what I'm going to do there. But the important thing is the crafting area. So... I put all of the crafting stations into these four crafting uh, access points or whatever you want to call them. I forgot exactly what they're called. But this first one is vanilla crafting number one. It has heavy workbench and all these other things so that I can craft anything using these crafting stations right here. Boom. And then this one, this is the main one that I'm going to use. It's a little, takes a little time to load because it uses the Crucible of the Cosmos, which is basically like almost every vanilla crafting station. And then the Dreadon's Forge from Calamity Mod. And then all of these from Sacred Tools, which I'm going to use a lot of very soon. And then the Purium stuff from Elemental Unleash, which we're going to be using soon as well. And then Secondary Crafting Unit. This is all the other mo like modded uh, crafting stations that don't fit into anywhere else. All this stuff. And then vanilla, special vanilla number two is all of these like biome crafting stations. So now whenever I need to craft anything, it's so easy. I just go here to one of these and I can craft anything. And then I could access my items from anywhere. All of my items are in here, pretty much. So that is gonna help me. I'm really excited about that. Because, you know, when you're playing, 
and if you build and stuff, uh, you're just like wandering past an area. I'll be like moving this way or whatever. And I'll be like, oh, I really want to add something here. And then you just kind of make a mental note of it. And then you go along, carry on with what you were doing. And then you might forget about it or might never get around to doing it because you're like, oh, I'm not going to do it now because I don't have my materials on me. But now I do. I have all my materials all the time, guys. <laughs> so I can build whatever I want, whenever I want to, as long as I have the materials to do so. So that's going to be pretty awesome. And I can't believe it took me this long to do this. You guys definitely should have yelled at me more in the comments. It's all right, though. I finally did it, and I'm very happy about it. Go away. I guess I could have just, you know, put that in there. Whatever. We don't need penguin heads. I'm so sorry for your loss. Anyway, okay, so I also, I ended up between episodes, but like even before I started this process, I ended up mining a few opals real quick in another world. And that literally took, like I just used this item to randomly teleport and it took like only a couple minutes to find some opals. So now we have them and I'm gonna make this other thing real quick. Uh, let me put, let's see, actually wait, in here. Okay, I can make the opal ring. Let's craft that. Now the enchanted opal ring using 15 and that, yeah. Boom. And I think I can make the ring now. There it is. The ring using all of these enchanted rings. Boom. We're not going to equip it because all that's really for is uh, I'm going to put it back in this chest over here. Ah, this is awesome. I'm so happy about this. We're one step closer now to making the uh, soul of the universe. All I need is a golem eye and then a couple new, couple other drops from Yaren, and then we can make that. Oh no, but I need to make all these from Elemental Unleash. Okay, so it's still a little while off, but okay. I want to make another weapon from Sacred Tools. We're going to make the true moon-edged Pandalera. Boom. Okay. I'm going to have to reforge that. And then there is the, come on, you can do it, Plague Hive, which we can make as well. Oh yeah, and there was also Zerg, Zerg potions. I could only make a few of them though. Uh, three? Yeah, I can only make three, but we have them now. I'll use them. First things first, let me reforge these super quick. Oh my god, we got a legendary on the first reforge. Okay. And then the plague hive. Um, let me equip this actually. Oh yeah, see it darkens my screen a lot. Oh man, yeah, I'm not gonna use that. Anyway, okay. So, oops, there's that. We're gonna pop that in here, whatever. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, like how I said before I went away and uh, worked on the putting all the items in there a new npc showed up from sacred tools mod that's why this whole thing is focused on sacred tools this whole episode this guy showed up question mark there are creatures roaming in the world who were corrupted by the dark powers of astral tight i'm sure they carry some with them all right yeah and this guy sells all this the stuff, but they all cost astral tight plating. I mean, look at this. 50 defense for the helm. But yeah, I'm just gonna mouse over it. Stop hurting me. And then look at these weapons. Phase Lash. Beam Partisan. Staff. Rift Bow. Phase Rifle. Oh man. Crystal Burster. Saber. Knives. And then ammo. But you can also challenge this boss, or it's a boss. You need a challenge medal to do that. Anyway, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to head actually into the dungeon because I want to try to kill two birds with one stone or uh, get two items at once. I want to go into the dungeon to get this, uh, to find a death knight to make the scroll of death. Oh, and look at this, by the way. The grass has been updated too. Look how nice that looks. Let me go over here. 
Yeah, I cannot wait to build a fiery castle of destruction in this biome. It might be underground, I don't know. I have to decide exactly where. I don't know like if I'm gonna keep this uh, this event farm area. It takes up so much space. Maybe I'll build above it. I don't know. I just don't want it to affect like the spawn rate and everything or spawning, you know? Anyway, let's go down in here and I'm gonna use a zerg pot or a few zerg pots. And we're gonna go into an area to the right uh, where enemies from Sacred Tools spawn as well to hopefully get some things. Let's buff. Did I drink? I drank a Zerg pot. Okay. Perfect. Now, wait, what is that? Terror something? Terror bark? Oh, there's another one over here. Wait, is that what we want? No. There are these things that are going to spawn from Sacred Tools that drop the uh, plating that we need. And then there's also... Oh, the Furias. There's also Death Knights that drop this uh, Ring of Skulls or something that I need. Okay, let's go over here. I see a lot of guys over there. And I kind of like this area more. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them here. Did we get any? Here, hang on. I got a... Um, we got nothing. The Zerg potion finally wore off. I didn't get either of the things that I wanted. I mean, I might have, but my inventory was full of items, like, constantly. Oh, wait. Here's one of the things I need. Astrothite... Ast Astral tight shards. We got six of them. Perfect. We're gonna put them up here. And now I just need that Death Knight to spawn. I got it, Sigil of Skulls, right here. I didn't even see it drop or anything, you know? Oh, I have, oh, another Poltergast. Look, 14 Poltergasts and go away. Let me favorite that and Look how fast Poltergast dies. This is my 15th Poltergast. <laughs> um, let's deposit all that stuff. Deposit, I said. Okay. And let's hurry up and just kill Poltergast again. Okay, hurry up. I don't even see him. Is he on top of me? Yeah. This is crazy. It's crazy. You're dead. I got 15 treasure bags, too, from you. Okay, um, let's turn off the ultimate valor, and then let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm going to have to, I only got 11 astral tight, so I'm going to go into my underground uh, fiery caves to grind for that stuff. But first, let's just get out of here. Actually, oh my god, let's not, oh, I got the deathbringer also. That's another drop. From Death Knights. Um, oh, you're not a Death Knight. Okay, let's get out of here. And man, that's insane. Take that. And okay, these don't stack. Oh no. Hopefully they stack in here. What are they called? Necrotic skulls? Because I probably have a million of them. What? Where are they? Oh, I'm looking at weapons. They stack. Okay, look at that. And should we stack everything else? Let me see. Yeah, I'll keep all that. I probably have a million banners from that. And money. How much money do I have in here? 803 platinum. I got like, like 600 platinum in that trip. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. But, okay. Before we do anything with the treasure bags. Oh, man. And we got this terror bark thing, too. Oh, nice. Nice. It summons these guys. It gives me a little Eye of Ra type of thing. And it's taken a liking to you. Nice. Okay. Well, we're going to use the Kindle Staff instead in a little while. But, okay, let me dump that stuff. And then the Deathbringer. Uh, critical hits have a chance to instantly kill enemies, which is cool. I'm not going to use that quite yet, though. Alright, 
Let me just quick stack all this stuff into my here. And then I'm going to make a, the scroll of death, which is why I went there in the first place. Um, come on. Scroll of death. Here it is. With the sigil of skulls that we just got and a papyrus scarab. Boom. It's got a quick one. Let's reforge that real quick. Finally. Okay. Now this, what it does is... 143 summon damage. Summons multiple skulls when below half health. Increases max number of minions by two, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to summon two Sons of Yaren with this. Probably not. And yeah, so I'm just going to make this for now. Where are we going to put this? I guess right there. And let me see. Probably not. One. No, I can't summon two. Whatever. Okay, that's fine. Now, let me uh, get ready to go down to the fiery caves. Whoa, what is this? Blue moon? Oh man, what is this from? Were rabbit? <laughs> and his bunnies. Bunnies raining from the sky. Wait, what is it? It's from Spirit Mod. I got an Azure Gem and Moon Jelly. Nice. Okay, um. Man. I still want to go down into the underground fiery caves and get more of these. I need 20. Yeah, I need 20 of these here. Hang on. All they make is this challenge metal that I need to fight the boss from Sacred Tools. I need 20 of them to make that. Uh, but there's all this other stuff going on right now. What was that? I heard a frog. I didn't even notice. There's some frog enemies. Oh, dude, a glow toad. Look at that. That is awesome. Hey, buddy. Oops, I'm trying to attack you with these. The astral fight. Astral tight. Anyway, okay. Um, I guess I'm going to leave this on. We're going to go down to the underground. Look at this. This looks really cool. The blue moon. Nice. Okay. Those frogs are awesome. <laughs> Glow toads. Actually, not a frog, a toad. I'm sorry. Um, let me use this just in case I die. So wait. I think the only things that are spawning are from the Blue Moon event. Yeah. What does this stuff make? Let me just look at this real quick. I gotta cancel this. I mean, I could always... Uh, Moon Jelly gives high regen. Oh, nice. We use that as a buff, too. So, yeah. I can activate this anytime, pretty much. Pretty easily. Okay. Starbo Glow Sting. Wayfinder's Torch. Oh, it's a throwing weapon. Okay. I mean, it's like a lower tier thing. I'll keep all this stuff, obviously. And let's fight... A Flare Serpent. See how fast we can kill him. Because, oh wow, that is super quick. Yaren's son is just destroying him. Ah, I gotta get down with his music though, it's awesome. Oh, I can't attack. Kill him! Yeah, you get that debuff. Obsidian curse when he touches you. How long does it last? Hurry up. <laughs> I think I still have the uh, Soul of Terraria equipped. That's probably why we're killing him so easily. But I just want to see, because if you fight him down here, I think there's a chance. I don't know if it's all the time, but there's a chance for him to drop a uh, obelisk. Like a really, really cool looking trophy that I want to use for... Uh, my fiery castle build that I plan to make at some point soon. I want to get a bunch of these things, so I'll probably have to fight him. Oh. Hurry up and die, please. Let's use this. Here, actually, let's use this. Come on. And you're dead. Where's the treasure bag? Ming. We got a fuzzy carrot. Okay, now you know what? Oh. <laughs> I'm like, how come I can't jump? Um, I forgot to use that, too. Let's 
use the Zerg potion and hopefully get a bunch of this stuff. Here's one. I think. Yes, I got four more shards. Sweet, we have 15. Oh wait, there's another one right here. Yes, gimme. Six more. Sweet, we can summon the boss now. Let me, I actually, well, let me see if I can get 40 just in case. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here until I get some more of these guys to spawn. Is that one? There it is. Eroded Winged Furia. We got two more. Man, come on. Got to drop more than that. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I got 76 Astral Thite. I got to pronounce this correctly. Astral Thite. Astral. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of a strange word. Um, okay. So, yeah, 76 of them. Let's actually uh, deposit everything that I have on me for now. I'm just looking to make sure. Okay, and then let's fight one more um, Flare Serpent in here. Let me put the waifus on. Okay. Where are you at? Ow! Oh, kill it. Oh my god, it's almost dead already. Holy crap. <laughs> I just want to try to get the, uh, the drop that I want from this thing. The obelisk. Here, come here. Fine. <laughs> come here. No. All right, well, let's see. Um, look at all this other stuff here. I don't see one. Maybe it's in the treasure bag. Let's open that. No. Anyway, okay, let me grab everything. Oh my god. Tons of stuff. Oh, hey, I want them. I want them. The beam sword I'll take, too. That's cool. Anyway, um, I already have one of these. I already have one of these. No big deal. I want them. Okay, so I didn't get that. I'm going to have to grind and farm a bunch of flare serpents down here, but not this episode. Now we're going to make the summoner for the challenger boss. And let's go fight that thing. All right, let me just put these in here. And come on. Now, I think it's called a challenge medal, right? Right here. Challenge medal. We're going to make... I'm only going to make one of them for now <laughs> because uh, positive thinking, right? And before we go and fight him, oh man, I have no idea what to expect. No idea. I just want to check the uh, NPCs real quick. Quasar Monolith, that's new. Nothing else is new. Um, sure, I'll buy one of them. Take that. What about you, Tucker? What you got? Anything new? Cryodite wings. Are those new? Platinum. And a cryodite lance. Okay. Let me check these out real quick. Uh, okay. That's cool. It kind of... Shards of ice kind of splinter off a little bit when you hit something. That seems pretty... Maybe I'll put that up there. Okay. And cryodite wings. Let's... um. Wait, I guess we're going to put them on for our vanity. Wait, I can't. Hang on. How do I do this again? I have to go like this and then... No. Go back. Is it this? No. Shift. Shift and right click. Okay. Cool. I mean, I'm not going to use them for vanity right now. <laughs> Let's switch. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, there we go. I'll play with them later. And what about this? What does this look like? That's cool. Nice. I like that moon. It looks very realistic. Interesting. Okay. Let's take that for now, too. And wait. Rentaro. What do you have? Do you have anything? Yeah. Oh, Abaddon statue. Nice. Cool. Okay. And then Royal Throne. Bone Throne. Nice. Yes. 
We're buying two of these and we're buying one of these. Thank you for adding that. That's awesome. Okay. And you know what I'm doing? Uh, I don't know if I'll paint them, but we're getting rid of these normal thrones. I'm gonna put these right here. Yeah. And then let me meet you down at the graveyard real quick. And then I'm gonna replace some throne down there as well. All right, now back in the old graveyard where we fought Abaddon. We got this here. Yeah, let's get rid of this normal throne again and replace it with that. That is perfect. Perfect. And since this is Abaddon's area, um, I can't put a statue. I have bone blocks everywhere. I don't know. Um, uh, whatever. I don't care. We'll be back. I'll, I'll do some stuff in here at another point. Wait, why can't I put it down? Oh, because they're hammered. I have platforms that are hammered down and painted with shadow paint. Anyway, okay, let's go. Let's do this. Let me let's get out of here. Oh, man. So, yeah, I have absolutely no idea how this is going to go. I made 30 Yerim stimulants so that I get this buff constantly using the Louis AFK mod. So, I don't know if he's just going to attack me or if he's going to, like, die and summon like a giant monstrosity. I have no idea what this boss is going to look like or anything, but <sighs> all right. I dislike that everyone mistakes those abominations in the underworld as demons. They are a disgrace to our species. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Hey, what's up? The challenger. Nice music. Um, can I hit you? <laughs> Oh, hello. Yes, it is just him. That is awesome. Where are you? He's... Whoa. <laughs> nice. Where are you? He keeps like... He's very fast. This is really cool, though. <laughs> I'm fighting... I'm fighting Dan. <laughs> is that who it's supposed to be? Is this the developer? Main developer of Sacred Tools? Let me uh, actually zoom out all the way. He's actually doing a good bit of damage. I don't know if he has any uh, second form or anything. This homes in, so it should be a lot easier to hit him with this. I'm not doing a... Terrible amount of damage. He is doing decent. Yes. The challenger. <laughs> Am I the challenger or is he the challenger? He flies through everything. Come on. I can't go through there. Don't. Nope. You better not. Okay. Okay. I was like, I thought he was despawning because the music changed. <laughs> ah. This is so cool. This is a really good boss fight. I love the I, the fact that I'm fighting like an NPC. Um, he's really fast though and does a lot of damage. So I can't, ow. Can't really keep him on screen all the time. It's hard to keep him on screen. Okay, we got him down halfway at least. What about this? Oh, these home in too. I did not know realize that. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah, he kind of like sticks you there. I'm gonna summon that. I forgot all about that. Do I have my... I don't even have the scroll equipped. What a noob. <laughs> Come here. Yes, this is very cool. Very cool fight. I mean, I, I am wearing only sake. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> and I got the treasure bag. Hey, what's up? Look at you. You're stuck over here now. Okay, here, we're going to sell you all this. Well, no, I'll keep everything. From now on, I'm going to keep everything. Let me just uh, favorite these things. Okay, now treasure bag and this, because I don't want to put that in there. Okay, treasure bag, what do we get? Go. We get 
19 astral tight plating. 19. And then Arcanum of the Caster. You sacrifice everything to keep your magic powerful. Using mana potions will apply Caster's Sacrifice instead of Mana Sickness. Caster's Sacrifice will double mana usage. Automatically uses mana potions. Interesting. I'm going to have to play around with that and get take care of or take off the unlimited mana. I mean, I didn't have it equipped for this fight anyway because I'm not currently using any magic. Um, okay, so that's 19 plating. Let's see. 10. I could buy a music box. No. Oh my god. We're going to have to fight him a lot. Look at this. 80 for each piece except for the breastplate. 80 for each helm. Oh man, we're gonna go melee first. I have to. Or ranged. Actually, <gasps> wait a minute. Can I make? Hang on. Okay, so 55, 45, 65, 65. All the weapons are 65. And then the uh, ammo is 5, and that's 10. Dude. Dude, but. Oh no. <gasps> Wait, that's not a material. How do I get... Hang on. Hang on. How do I get this? From relic fragments. How do I get relic fragments? No! <laughs> oh no, I thought I was going to be able to make this. Because with this thing, I'm pretty sure he, he added it to the mod now. With this, I can ascend the Onyx Deathbringer to, like, the overclocked Onyx Deathbringer, and it does a ton of damage. Okay, um, anyway, you can hang out here. In, in fact, actually, let's see, stay up here. You get to hang out in there. There you go. There's your home. Have fun! Next time, we'll fight you over there. That was really cool. I just wish that I could get a piece of armor or a weapon or something. So I'm gonna have to grind that boss quite a bit, but actually, let me check, let's just, well, since, whatever, let's just, uh, I want to check with this guy, I don't know if I'm going to be able to buy, come on, come up here, uh, the summoner, uh, post moon lord, oh no, oh no, wait, no, what about, is it in anything else, probably not, uh, no. How about now? No. Perfect. Perfect. So I have to... Well, I mean, I have enough to make... Let's make a few more first before we get out of here. Man. So yeah, I'm going to have to grind that boss a lot. Uh, what were they called? Challenge. Oops. I typed too fast for this. Okay, let's craft as many as we can. Two more. How about that, guys? <laughs> Get two more. And then I'm going to have to fight the uh, Lunarians more as well. I mean, it only costs one of these. These drop from the Lunarians boss. But yeah, anyway, we're going to have to do some grinding here, which is totally fine with me. I'm happy to do grinding for another uh, mod other than just Calamity grinding, you know? Anyway, guys, all right, I think that's about time. We didn't get a chance to go to Grandma's house and build that farm, but we're going to do that really soon. I have to. There's a lot of different things that I have planned for the next, like, probably 10 episodes. I know a lot of things that I want to do. I'm losing my voice. But before we get out of here, I just wanted to say thank you to Nyrock Ash River for telling me, <laughs> a noob, telling me to make the scroll of death of death. Um which we finally equipped. I didn't notice, well, we didn't lose half of our HP and it says it summons multiple skulls when below half health. I'm gonna have to check that out and like purposefully sacrifice myself a little bit to see this thing a little bit clearer or better. But anyway, guys, bunnies. And yeah, with the, uh, the blue moon thing was really cool too. I'm gonna have to experience an entire night of that soon. Let's see if there's any other mobs or maybe a boss that spawns. I don't know. That would be really cool if there's a boss. Anyway, guys. All right. Thank you. And I will see you really soon. No more hurricanes. No more taking a week off because of losing power and car getting destroyed. <laughs> anyway. All right. I'll see you next time. Peace.